Hello, and welcome to today's training on your new Canon Image Runner Advance. Today's training will address the scan function of your machine, as well as how to save an email address into the address book. We'll talk about options on the left hand side, the display, and we'll talk about options on the right. So let's get started. As we approach the machine, the left hand side allows us to select a main menu button, which is helpful if we choose an option on the panel by mistake. There is no option on the display that allows us to go back. Main menu brings us back to the home screen and then we can choose the indicated function we meant to. Status monitor and cancel is helpful if we need to stop a scan or if we want to confirm that our scan actually sent. By selecting on the send tab, job status is what's currently in queue and the log function allows us to see what has already been sent. In the results column, we'll either see two dashes, which means that the scan did go through, or we'll see NG, which means no good, and we'll have to re-scan the document. And then select OK. To scan an image, we'll select on the scan and send function through the machines panel. On the right hand side, we'll choose available options like how do we want to scan or if we want to change the file type. The machine by default is set to scan in auto color, so anything that you see on your original in color will appear in color on your computer screen. We can change it to grayscale or black and white if we need to depending on the type of document we're working with. The resolution is set at 300 dots per inch and the file type is set at a PDF. If we want to change the type of document, we can change it to a TIFF or a JPEG. We can select XPS if we need to scan into Excel, or OOXML is our Word or our PowerPoint platform. For today's training though, we're simply going to leave it on PDF and select OK. We have the option to tell the machine our original is two-sided and answer book type or calendar type and then select OK. We can also select different size originals if we have a mixed batch. Maybe we have some letter, some legal, and some 11 by 17. Simply answer the question and then select OK. Now let's say we selected a function but we don't need it or we weren't sure what it does and now it's highlighted. If I want to take off a function, like different size original, I simply select on it and tell the machine to cancel the settings and now that's unselected for me. Under options, there's a few things to bring your attention to. The first is the job build option, which allows you to put more sheets into the document feeder. This allows you to put packet upon packet into the machine so that you can scan one document as opposed to multiple smaller ones. On the second screen, you're able to select file name. File name allows you to override the numeric number that would appear by default as the document name. By selecting the file name tab, you simply type in the name or number and select OK. Then select OK again and then close to get back to the main screen. We'll select the reset button for the portion of this training to show you how to store an email address into the device. At the machine here, we're going to select on address book. And from here, we're going to select register slash edit and register new destination because our email address does not currently appear. Select email and at this point we're prompted for a name and for an email address. For the purposes of today's training clip we're going to type in Charlie as the name. And then OK. And then we're going to type in Charlie's email address. I confirm to make sure that I've typed in the email address correctly and then I select OK, OK again, close, and OK to get back to the main screen. Now when I want to send an email document to Charlie, I simply select on address book, select from the list, and then select OK. Now you'll notice on the right hand side, the start button is green where it wasn't before because I had not selected an email address. Once you have more than one email address in your address book, 
you can send to more than one location at once. I'll select the reset button to clear the screen and choose another location if I needed to. We hope this answers your question regarding the scan and send function of your machine. If you have additional questions or if you would like to set up training with an Imaging Path product trainer, please route a help desk ticket to your desktop support team. Thanks and have a great day.